Hi, it's Arit here. Welcome to the Estetino Artist channel where we share all kinds of videos on money, marketing, and mindset for creative entrepreneurs. Today I have a really cool video for you. I'm going to show you how to record your mobile screen and bring that footage into Camtasia without any uploading or downloading or crazy hecticness about the size of the file. It's going to be super easy. So if you're looking for an easy way to record your mobile screen and use that footage in your Camtasia video editing projects, this app, it's called the TechSmith Capture app. It's totally free, so you can download it from your app store and it allows you to easily record uh, no limits on footage uh, as far as I've used it. Uh, it doesn't say any limitations to how long people, you, how long you can record for. I've used it for recording on my mobile for 10 minutes plus. Um, so, and I haven't run into any problems. So it easily allows you to record and then pretty much like an airdrop feature, just bring that footage right away into your Camtasia video editing software on your laptop. So let me show you how to do this. So guys, first thing you want to do is you want to go into your app store and download the app. So you need to type in TechSmith Capture. And once you get that, you should see like a little camera with a beaming light. At least that's the icon right now. So you're going to tap on that and download it directly from the app store. Like I said, it's free. Um, the thing is, is that this app is only available right now for iPhone or iOS software. Uh, so you can only use it with your iPhone or your iPad. And the iOS software that it operates on is 12.4 or higher. So just keep that in mind. So once you open up the app, which I'm going to do right now, I'm actually recording with TechSmith Capture right now to show this to you. So what it looks like is like this. Instantly when you open it up, you'll see, um, you'll see nothing because if you've just downloaded it, there will be nothing in here, but you can see I've already done a few recordings in the past. So it banks all of them in here. It creates a little library for you of all of your mobile recordings. So it all goes in here. You can see this one over here is 10 minutes, 26 seconds long. Um, so you can go pretty long. What you want to do to record is hit the top left red circle over there. So I'm already recording. I'm not going to hit it again because it's already doing that. But once you hit that record button, it'll a little notification will pop up saying, do you want to turn on your mic or not? So I typically leave my microphone off because I'm recording videos like this one where I have an external mic already recording the sound, so I don't need it. I just need the footage. So you can leave your mic on or off. And when you hit start broadcast, it'll do a little three, two, one countdown and it will show you uh, and then it will start the broadcast and what it looks like right now is like this. I'm seeing a red bar at the top of the screen record that's kind of like glowing. Whenever you want to stop that broadcast, you just hit the, the red bar and it's going to say, do you want to stop the broadcast? And from there you can click cancel or stop. So once you hit stop, I'm not going to do it now because again, I want to, um, I want to record for you what I'm seeing here. So once you hit stop, that footage will come into the app like you see here. And you can, um, you can see I've done a bunch of these. What happens now when you want to share that screen capture that you just recorded and put it into the Camtasia video editing software? Super cool. Watch this. So let's say this one at the top is the one that I want to, I want to work with. Um, you're going to tap on that footage and I'll show you a little preview of the footage that you recorded. Hit the share button on the bottom left corner there. It's going to say, do you want to export to Camtasia, snag it, and there's other stuff in there too. I don't even know what TechSmith Nomia is. <laughs> I've never used that before, never heard of it. But this is a cool part. So you're going to say export to Camtasia. Okay, I had to stop that recording and then come back and do it again. Take two, because when I hit the export to Camtasia, it automatically sent the screen capture to 
my Camtasia video editing software, you can see here the captures are already in here. Um, but for first time user, you know, if you just download that, downloaded the app, that's not what you're going to see. You're not going to see it come in right away. You need to actually connect the two devices through a QR code scanning. So it's super easy to do. Um, I just wanted to re film this so that you are seeing the same thing, hopefully, as what I'm recording in this video. But it's good to know that once you have connected it once, once you've scanned the QR code once, it comes in right away for you. It remembers the device as long as your computer and your device is connected to the same Wi-Fi network. So let's do this again. So the first thing you want to do is open up your Camtasia video editing software uh, on your computer, go to file, go to where it says connect mobile device, and then you'll have a QR code to scan. Now, when you are wanting to share this footage into the, the software here, you need to go to the, the footage that you want. You want to tap on it from your library. And then when you go to share export to Camtasia, it's going to say connecting and it's it should bring up a scanner like it should have the app should have access to your camera if it doesn't then you may need to go to the settings of your iphone and go to the app and allow or enable the camera um, allow this app to have access to your camera so once you do that it should have a little scanner come up now for me you'll see it says that it has the device, it already remembered the device. This is this AESS Camtasia is actually my laptop. So it already remembered the device, which is cool. But let's say that didn't pop up for you. What will pop up is a scanner like you see right here. So you want to make sure that again, so that there's no issues that come up, you want to make sure that your laptop and your mobile device are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. So I'm just going to quickly check to make sure that that's the case. All right, I just made sure that I'm connected to the same Wi-Fi network. So here we go. So once I scan this QR code that's on my laptop, you'll see here on the mobile device, it says sharing, it's loading up and within the Camtasia video editing software, it's loading up as well right here. So I pretty much magically airdropped it basically into the Camtasia video editing software right away. And it's in my media bin ready for me to use to bring onto my timeline and to edit with. Super cool, super fast. Uh, you don't need to worry about taking this footage off of your computer, uploading it somewhere and then downloading it once you get to your laptop. It's super easy. Um, if by the way you do, you are working with collaborators and you want to upload this mobile footage to a Dropbox or Google Drive, you can do that as well. You just need to go to share and then instead of selecting one of these Camtasia Snagit options, you just go to more and then it'll bring up all of your other icons. So you can see here I can tap on more and I can go to my Google Drive over there or to Dropbox and that way it'll upload there and then someone else on the other end can download that footage and easily import it into their video editing software. So guys, that is it for this video. Let me know what you think. Does it look easy? Will you be using this TechSmith Capture app to bring in mobile screen footage into your Camtasia video editing software? I'd love to hear from you. If you want to dive deeper with the Camtasia video editing software, you want to know it in and out and how to do some really cool video editing techniques. Even if you're a newbie just wanting to learn the basics of the software, we do have a nine plus hour course on Camtasia for content creators, which you can dive into. I'll put the link in the description below and you can get two months free access to that course. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more good stuff coming your way. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.